Hey guys, what's been happening? It's been a little while since I did an update on uh, getting the seeds ready for the garden. So I'm gonna do that now and uh, then go take a look at the garden. Uh, but uh, as you can see here, I got tons of tomatoes and peppers and stuff that have finally come up. And uh, I've actually gotten quite a few pepper plants out and uh, up here and ready to go under these lights up here. So uh, they're growing pretty good. Uh, we got a little bit of a later start than what I'd like. I'd like to be have these guys ready to go on the ground here in the next few days, but they're not quite gonna be there. So we're just gonna keep uh, nursing them here and, and getting them all grown out. Uh, but I think I got the you know seed starting on everything all figured out. So uh, next year we'll be ready to go. And, and I'll just keep uh, trying it with some of the seeds I got from this year and we'll grow out some more plants throughout the, throughout the year. We're just gonna plant them in different places around the property. And, and see where they grow without uh, irrigation anything like that maybe i'll learn some stuff from that too now in the last video we had uh sorry i'm gonna swing the camera over here but uh i had showed you guys these uh burpee uh kits that we had that we had picked up and uh, i said they had been picked up the summer or last summer but uh i'm guessing they were the summer before last because when we looked at the seeds on the inside there uh we ended up with sale by dates of uh November of 13. So uh, they're, you know, I think they were probably picked up from the summer before last. But, uh, anyways, got this guy over here. He stayed on the heat mat for, I don't, I don't know, I guess it's probably been close to a week and uh, haven't had any luck yet. And uh, so I thought, well, we'll go ahead and uh, take it out, put it underneath the lights, and, and see what happens getting underneath the lights and off the heat but uh, didn't have any guys uh, popping out of there yet. So uh, I did not start any peppers. Those are all tomatoes. There were two different, uh, two different kinds of tomato seeds in that plant and uh, none of them have germinated so far. But uh, these guys did. So these guys have done good. And all I did was change from that first set of seeds that I did to this set was uh, basically just put them on the heat mat uh, for a couple of days. And when I started to see in the first green, uh, out of them. Then I took them off the heat mat, brought them over here and put them under the lights and you can see how close the lights are to where they're at. I've got them pulled out so you can see, but uh, I slide the tray back underneath and uh, they're actually, you know, really, really close. Probably, you know, just about three inches or so from the top of the, from the top of the trays. So, all right, let's take a look outside here and see what we got going on. All right, we're just outside the grow room here. I've got uh, about four trays worth of uh, beans and zucchini and uh, squash and all that stuff going on. And uh, some of it is uh, probably should be in the ground already. And uh, the rest of it is probably going to be ready to go in the ground by this weekend. I'm just setting them out here for a couple hours a day right now, getting them uh, used to the sunlight um, probably by the end of the week. Maybe uh, I think we're supposed to have good weather this weekend, but maybe leave them out a good portion of the day on Friday, Saturday, leave them out a good portion of the day, maybe plant them on Sunday and see how that goes. So I'm just gonna kind of play it by ear and figure out uh, what we need to do. But uh, all, all in total, I think we're probably somewhere in the, the range of around 60 pepper plants. By the time all the seedlings grow out, uh, tomato wise, we're probably gonna have 40 or so tomato plants. And I need to get some more uh, squash and everything started. We probably only got about 20 or so uh, squash and zucchinis and about 15 bean plants. Um, but uh, I'll probably go ahead and start some more squash and everything. I wanna make sure that when I plant the corn and everything and the corn sprouts up that I'm gonna come back below uh, after it grows up a little bit and plant some squash down below it. And uh, we're gonna try that too. So anyways, let's go over and take a look at the garden plot and see how that turned out. All right, guys, down here at the garden plot, uh, if you watched our videos from last year, you know, this area down here is where we started. Uh, it's where we started with the channel as well. And, uh, you know, we tilled it up and had a lot of rocky uh, rocky soil there and, and uh, had a good struggle trying to get all the rocks and everything out of the way. And it was no different this year. But uh, we did have a fence going across uh, about right here in that direction. And, of course, up here uh, where that fence post is right here, uh, fence going across towards the old chicken coop over there and that area in the backyard was where we had our tomatoes and stuff last year so we broke those two fences down and uh, went this way and uh, that's enabled us to have pretty close to a 50 by 100 it's not quite and uh, you know we're going to plant uh, some some corn and 
and uh, okra and all that kind of stuff like that like we did last year and of course all the seeds and everything we started inside that I showed you a while ago uh, are going to go down here on this end. I've got the trellis up for the beans uh, almost complete. Uh, let's walk over take a look at that real quick. <clears throat> I bought this off of Amazon and uh, you know, it had kind of so-so reviews, but I was looking for something that was, uh, you know, a good size to be able to get me all the way across there and uh, uh, be good and tall enough. And, uh, you know, a lot of the complaints were the fact that it's in the diamond shape instead of a square shape, but I haven't found that to be too much of a problem. Just got some nylon rope going across the top there that we've zip tied it to. And then I just got some baling twine down at the bottom. We're just going to kind of weave in and out there and hold it steady and go from one to the other. And uh, I was out here doing that last night and got the first one done. I was about ready to keep on keep on going when uh, we found the, uh, the goat down there that had the three babies. So we had to uh, switch tasks and go take care of that. So uh, I'll be coming back to this here before too long and uh, getting this finished up. You see all the rocks and everything. You know, last year when I started the channel, that was one of the first problems I ran into tilling all this up was all these rocks. I did go and uh, pick up a landscape rake for my tractor and uh it just it did really help that much uh it uh you know it drug a lot of rocks out and everything but then i still had to go down and till in order to be able to uh uh you know get a, a good uh loose soil going and uh it just tilled up more rocks from uh, what was compacted below so we're gonna rock and roll no pun intended as best as we can and uh we're gonna make the best of it and see what happens I did, uh, after we uh, tilled this up here on Sunday, I did go ahead and spread clover over the entire uh, area of the garden. This is more garden that I actually feel like uh, uh, weeding out here in the hot 90 and 100 degree sun that we'll have later this summer. And so my intention is to keep the, is have the clover, clover if I can talk right, the clover is gonna cover this entire thing, um, hopefully, and keep uh, any taller weeds from growing. But it's not going to be uh, thick enough or tall enough to choke out the plants that we're going to be growing for our vegetables and everything so that's the plan we're going to see how it works out uh, if you got any uh, comments uh, please leave them below you know i'm no i'm no master gardener this is something that uh, i'm very new to and so if you guys got any suggestions or anything like that i'd love to hear it and uh, you know maybe even try it out so i appreciate you guys watching talk to you later